I was very pleased with how the spring went. And I, I told our football team this was probably the cleanest game that we've had in my th going on three years as a head coach. And by cleanest, I mean the fewest amount of uh, mental breakdowns, uh, the fewest amount of penalties overall. Uh, guys were making plays, and that's what you're looking for as a head coach. You know, we're, we're making a scoring play because our running back is making somebody miss or our defense is making a play because they're stepping in front of a receiver, great coverage, and making a great pick. And, and I think there was a lot of that out there today. Uh, we had a lot of work. I think we had about 80 total snaps, which is what we were looking for here today, uh, and plays by both sides of the ball. It was a close contest in terms of the offensive having a lot of great drives early on, setting the tone early, moving the football 75 yards for a score, uh, doing probably as, as impressive of a drive as, as I've seen out of our offense uh, so far this spring. Uh, and then the defense really stepped up uh, in the second half. Uh, and we gave them some tough field position. And they really stepped up and played their best ball when their backs were against the wall, starting with a great uh, goal line stand, uh, stopping a fourth and one from the one. Uh, was was absolutely great to see our guys step up and make a play in those critical situations. That was one of our weaknesses last year in, on our defense was we were very poor in the red zone and we stepped up and we did a great job. We held the, def, uh, the offense to uh, uh, a couple of big stops in the second half, kept us out of the end zone. And so on the bottom uh, line was we stayed relatively injury free and guys stepped up and made plays and, and uh, as a coach we got exactly what we were looking for out of a day like today. I think a lot of people stepped up and make, made plays. There were guys that, that we kind of knew of uh, that could make plays. Uh, uh, guys like J.J. Nunez uh, stepped up and had himself a great scrimmage, and he's had an outstanding scrimmage, but we knew he's a good football player. Uh, uh, Frank Katrina on offense had a great catch, a couple of great catches out there, and, and made some plays, and, and uh, that was nice to see, but we knew about him. It was the young guys that stepped up today that I was thrilled with. Christian Campbell uh, at corner has, a, has had a tremendous spring on defense. Uh, and today was no exception. Um, we have a couple of young tailbacks who stepped up. Dominic Bobo uh, made a couple of big time plays and shows that he can make people miss and he can catch the ball out of the backfield. And, and he's just young, he's just learning some of these things. And, and Elias Early you know, got a little bit dinged up there at the end, hopefully he's all right. Uh, but he stepped up and made a couple of plays. And, and so there was a number of guys, uh, it was a nice combination of veterans showing what they can do. Uh, and then a couple of young freshmen who maybe hadn't played a whole lot last, last year stepping up and really getting their, their first opportunity to shine in front of an audience and, and we had a number of guys who did just that. I think running back is the position for him. Obviously he's multi-talented, he makes plays on special teams, he has the ability to be split out and play that slot wide receiver, but we really focused on him just exclusively at tailback uh, this spring. Uh, and he's responded. He, he made some nice plays. Uh, he's a very reliable player. Not the biggest guy, but runs uh, with a level of toughness that goes beyond just his size. Defense, we're going to be a little less experienced, a little less experienced than on the offensive side of the ball, which was kind of flipped from a year ago. But the talent level is there. We just need experience. We had some guys who stepped up and made some big plays. They're only going to get better. A couple of linebackers who are filling the holes that are, that are true freshmen. Some have played, uh, but you had uh, guys like Mike Wheeler who, uh, who made a couple of plays, and it's really his first, uh, I think, extended snaps. And we're moving some guys around, playing a number of players at different positions. And I think we've had a bunch of guys step up and, and, and make plays. Uh, freshman uh, Drew Snoffer uh, made a couple of good plays out there as well. Uh, Turner, another linebacker, really has stepped up and, and had a great spring. Uh, so there's a, a number of guys uh, on the defense who have that ability. They just might not have quite the level of confidence, as, and that's what being a veteran is all about. And, and hopefully we'll get that here. Uh, we've got two more spring practices to go through uh, this coming week and, and then uh, 29 practices or so until our first contest against Illinois State. I'm thrilled with how the game went and I'm thrilled with how uh, our first 13 practices as a whole have gone. We've battled the elements, which is great. You get a chance. We had 75 and sunny like we have here today. We, practiced, we played through two scrimmages that were blizzard-like conditions. We've had rain, so we've had everything possible thrown at us. Uh, in spring and that's great. So we've got exposure, a lot of players have stepped up and separated themselves. They've got that experience, they've got that confidence. It's great to see uh, what, you know, the fruits of guys' labor being in the weight room for January and February and March and now getting out here 
and guys are bigger and stronger and quicker and more confident and it's great to see them you know that come through in their play you know not just today but just throughout the whole spring well we're looking forward for everybody to show up and have a great first crowd at our home opener come September <laughs>